Beta Oxidation, Wikipedia Article Audio In biochemistry and metabolism, beta oxidation is the catabolic process by which fatty acid molecules are broken down in the cytosol in prokaryotes and in the mitochondria in eukaryotes to generate acetyl-CoA, which enters the citric acid cycle and NADH and FADH2 which are coenzymes used in the electron transport chain. It is named as such because the beta carbon of the fatty acid undergoes oxidation to a carbonyl group. Beta oxidation is primarily facilitated by the mitochondrial trifunctional protein, an enzyme complex associated with the inner mitochondrial membrane, although some fatty acids are oxidized in peroxisomes. The overall reaction for one cycle of beta oxidation is Overview Activation and membrane transport Fatty acid catabolism consists of Free fatty acids cannot penetrate any biological membrane due to their negative charge. Free fatty acids must cross the cell membrane through specific transport proteins such as the SLC27 family fatty acid transport protein. Once in the cytosol, the following processes bring fatty acids into the mitochondrial matrix so that beta oxidation can take place. Once the fatty acid is inside the mitochondrial matrix, beta oxidation occurs by cleaving two carbons every cycle to form acetyl-CoA. The process consists of four steps. Fatty acids are oxidized by most of the tissues in the body. However, some tissues such as the red blood cells, and cells of the central nervous system do not use fatty acids for their energy requirements, but instead use carbohydrates or ketone bodies. Because many fatty acids are not fully saturated or do not have an even number of carbons, several different mechanisms have evolved, described below. General Mechanism Once inside the mitochondria, each cycle of beta oxidation, liberating a two-carbon unit, occurs in a sequence of four reactions. This process continues until the entire chain is cleaved into acetyl-CoA units. The final cycle produces two separate acetyl-CoAs, instead of one acyl-CoA and one acetyl-CoA. For every cycle, the acyl-CoA unit is shortened by two carbon atoms. Concomitantly, one molecule of FADH2 NADH and acetyl-CoA are formed. Even-numbered saturated fatty acids In general, fatty acids with an odd number of carbons are found in the lipids of plants and some marine organisms. Many ruminant animals form a large amount of 3-carbon propionate during the fermentation of carbohydrates in the rumen. Chains with an odd number of carbons are oxidized in the same manner as even-numbered chains, but the final products are propionyl-CoA and acetyl-CoA. Propionyl-CoA is first carboxylate using a bicarbonate ion into D-stereoisomer of methylmalonyl-CoA, in a reaction that involves a biotin CO factor, ADP, and the enzyme propionyl-CoA carboxylase. The bicarbonate ion's carbon is added to the middle carbon of propionyl-CoA, forming a D-methylmalonyl-CoA. However, the D-conformation is enzymatically converted into the L-conformation by methylmalonyl-CoA epimerase, then it undergoes intramolecular rearrangement, which is catalyzed by methylmalonyl-CoA mutase to form succinyl-CoA. The succinyl CoA formed can then enter the citric acid cycle. Odd numbered saturated fatty acids. However, whereas acetyl CoA enters the citric acid cycle by condensing with an existing molecule of oxalostate, succinyl CoA enters the cycle as a principle in its own right. 
Thus the succinate just adds to the population of circulating molecules in the cycle and undergoes no net metabolization while in it. When this infusion of citric acid cycle intermediates exceeds cataplerotic demand, some of them can be extracted to the gluconeogenesis pathway, in the liver and kidneys, through phosphenol pyruvate carboxychinase, and converted to free glucose. Unsaturated Fatty Acids Beta oxidation of unsaturated fatty acids poses a problem since the location of a cis bond can prevent the formation of a trans delta 2 bond. These situations are handled by an additional two enzymes, inoil COA isomerase or 2,4-dienoyl COA reductase. Peroxisomal Beta Oxidation Whatever the conformation of the hydrocarbon chain, beta oxidation occurs normally until the acyl CoA is not an appropriate substrate for acyl CoA dehydrogenase, or in oil CoA hydratase. To summarize, energy yield. Fatty acid oxidation also occurs in peroxisomes when the fatty acid chains are too long to be handled by the mitochondria. The same enzymes are used in peroxisomes as in the mitochondrial matrix, and acetyl-CoA is generated. It is believed that very long-chain fatty acids, branched fatty acids, some prostaglandins and leukotrienes undergo initial oxidation in peroxisomes until octanoil coa is formed, at which point it undergoes mitochondrial oxidation. One significant difference is that oxidation in peroxisomes is not coupled to ADP synthesis. Instead, the high potential electrons are transferred to O2, which yields H2O2. It does generate heat however. The enzyme catalase, found exclusively in peroxisomes, converts the hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. Peroxisomal beta oxidation also requires enzymes specific to the peroxisome and to very long fatty acids. There are three key differences between the enzymes used for mitochondrial and peroxisomal beta oxidation. Peroxisomal oxidation is induced by a high fat diet and administration of hypolipidemic drugs like clofibrate. The ADP yield for every oxidation cycle is theoretically a maximum yield of 17, as NADH produces 3 ADP, FADH2 produces 2 and a full rotation of the citric acid cycle produces 12. In practice it's closer to 14 ADP for a full oxidation cycle as in practice the theoretical yield isn't attained it's generally closer to 2.5 ADP per NADH molecule produced, 1.5 for each FADH2 molecule produced and this equates to 10 per cycle of the TCA, broken down as follows. Similarities between beta oxidation and citric acid cycle For an even numbered saturated fat, N, 1 oxidations are necessary and the final process yields an additional acetyl-CoA. In addition, two equivalents of ADP are lost during the activation of the fatty acid. Therefore, the total ADP yield can be stated as Clinical Significance Or If the acyl-CoA contains a cis-delta-3 bond, then cis-delta-3 in oil COA isomerase will convert the bond to a trans delta 2 bond, which is a regular substrate. If the acyl COA contains a cis delta 4 double bond, then its dehydrogenation yields a 2,4 dienoyl intermediate, which is not a substrate for in oil COA hydratase. However, the enzyme 2,4 dienoyl COA reductase reduces the intermediate using NADF, into trans-delta-3 in oil COA. As in the above case, 
this compound is converted into a suitable intermediate by 3,2 in oil COA isomerase. For instance, the ADP yield of palmitate is represented in table form. Odd numbered double bonds are handled by the isomerase, even numbered double bonds by the reductase. For sources that use the larger ADP production numbers described above, the total would be 129 ADP equals equivalents per palmitate. Beta oxidation of unsaturated fatty acids changes the ADP yield due to the requirement of two possible additional enzymes. The reactions of beta oxidation and part of citric acid cycle present structural similarities in three of four reactions of the beta oxidation, the oxidation by FAD, the hydration, and the oxidation by NAD+. Such comparison viewed using Fischer projection and the polygonal model as well. Each enzyme of these metabolic pathways presents structural similarity. There are at least 25 enzymes and specific transport proteins in the beta-oxidation pathway. Of these, 18 have been associated with human disease as inborn errors of metabolism.